guys and welcome back to my channel so it's a little bit hard to talk because of all the glitter on my lips but today is clearly just an everyday makeup tutorial very easy to achieve appropriate for work school this tutorial is a halloween tutorial this is my first creepy makeup halloween tutorial because my first other one was just to cut crease so it was very simple and this one is a little bit more exciting and interesting this is actually my first time ever doing anything like this I've never even done like a simple skull. This was so much harder than I thought, but it was really, really fun. And I kind of wanted to do like a skull look, but with gold incorporated into it, making it like a glam skull. And I definitely got some inspiration on Instagram that I want to show you guys. Tutorials by Tina posted this picture right here. And that's where I got like the mouth inspiration from. I made my teeth a little bit wider. And I didn't do that curve because it was a lot harder than it looked to do. So I just made it straight out here. By the way, I'm sorry if I sound so monotone. It's literally so hard to open my mouth. <laughs> like, all the glitter that I put on my lips is making it, like, stick together. Oh my god. Oh my god. So anyways, I'm super proud of how this look came out. It took me literally all day, but it's all good. I'm sure with practice, it would take me a lot less. And same with you guys. If you already do Halloween tutorials, then you know that practice makes perfect. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Let me know if you want to see any other Halloween tutorials or if you want me to go back to like normal, regular scheduling type thing or whatever. If you're new, make sure to subscribe below and also follow me on my other social medias at Rotom Beauty on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Hey guys, so I am starting with my eyes and I quickly just did one eye off camera and then I'm going to show you how to get this gold cut crease. So as usual, I'm priming my eyes with the Soft Ochre Paint Pot and my Sigma 3D HD brush and just blending it out with my fingers. And then taking this shade called Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek to set that so my um, other shadows blend nicely and it's a matte skin tone shade then taking the shade morocco with an angled brush i'm just kind of creating that line where i want my cut crease to be and i'm just winging it out here and comparing it to the other eye to make sure they match and then taking this pencil brush i'm just going to blend the line out with no product on the brush just blending it out to make sure it's blended out duh. and then taking this shade called cherry cola and i'm just adding this with the angled brush to deepen the crease and I like the kind of like purpley tone that it has. So I'm just blending that out. I think it'll complement the gold even though you can't see it very well, but whatever. This shade is Cocoa Bear and I'm just taking it with a pencil brush to blend out that crease. And then taking this Sigma brush. This is the E25 blending brush with the shade Chickadee just to blend out the crease to make sure everything is nice and smooth. Now I'm just taking this Inglot 77 gel eyeliner. Um, I'm just kind of going over the crease area and this is really going to deepen the entire crease and then I'm going to blend this out with the Sigma pencil brush and then taking a flat definer brush I'm taking the shade Corrupt which is obviously a matte black shade and I'm just going over the eyeliner just to deepen it up and set it and then blend that out again with the pencil brush. So now for the fun part, I'm taking this e.l.f. small smudge brush and I'm taking the uh, soft ochre paint pot and this is where I carve out the entire area under the crease and this is what gives it the super sharp look and gives the illusion of a higher crease. So I'm just cutting it out all the way down to the wing and then taking this Sigma shader brush with the um, shade Magic Act, the foil eyeshadow by um, Makeup Geek. And then I'm spraying it also with the MAC Fix Plus to make it really intense and metallic. And just applying that to that entire like space under the cut crease, even under the wing. So now I'm taking this glitter eyeshadow by Wet n Wild. This is in the shade Brass. And it has a lot of sparkles in it, so I'm just applying that over the entire um, area where I applied that eyeshadow. And then just creating a wing with the Inglot eyeliner and the Sigma EOS, EO5 brush, I believe. So now for another fun part, this whole thing is fun to me, but I'm taking this NYX Liquid Crystal Liner in the shade Crystal Gold. And I'm applying this directly under the cut crease. And I'm kind of like taking it all the way out under the wing. 
And then another eyeliner from that line. This is in the shade Crystal Silk. It's just a little more champagne-y. And I'm taking this one over the wing I created. And then I'm kind of like eventually just putting it all over in the center with the, both the shades and just kind of mixing them together. And then taking the Medium Sweeper brush by Sigma and then this ColourPop eyeshadow in the shade Girly and I'm just highlighting the brow bone area. And then applying some mascara, I use the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. And then onto the face, I'm using this Hangover RX Primer, it's just very moisturizing. And then using the Giorgio Armani Luminous Foundation and then the Sigma F80 brush. And I'm just applying a light layer all over the face. And then taking this Makeup Forever foundation palette, I'm taking the white shade from the palette and this is where I'm going to start creating my teeth. So I'm just making it into like this triangle shape. Um, you can see that it's kind of like shaped as teeth and then the, that little wing I'm doing up there is like the root of the tooth. I hope that makes sense. So I'm just creating all of these um, across my lips and I'm also bringing like two more out further from my lips to the sides to give it just, I don't know bigger mouth I, I don't know it sounds weird but just like more teeth going back to the Inglot 77 gel liner I'm kind of shading in between the teeth so I'm definitely creating a line between them so you can see that they're separate and then kind of like bringing it out in an upside down triangle to blend that out um, and then with a pencil brush I'm blending out the like the black to make sure that it's it looks like shading and not like I don't know, eyeliner and then just doing the same exact thing to the bottom teeth um, yeah just the same exact concept making the white little upside down triangles and then shading in between with the black um, gel liner and just blending it out with the pencil brush So now I'm taking the black gel liner and just like shading inside the inner rims of my mouth and I don't know it just makes it look more creepy and dead but I did thin this out a little bit because I made it a little too thick on the bottom teeth so eventually I did thin it out and make the teeth a lot bigger in the center but it still has that black in the inner rim and I think it makes it look a lot more dead. <laughs> So now taking this eyeshadow by ColourPop in the shade Get Lucky, I'm now shading the white teeth with this gold color and it's just going to act as a base before I apply the glitter and I really like how it came out. I love the whole gold vibes. It's like a glam dead skull. I don't know. Very me. But anyways, I'm taking this angled brush with the shade Corrupt to darken the black eyeliner and set it with an eyeshadow and just make sure it's like super dark and blended. And then you can see here that I'm just continuing the mouth so that the teeth make sense there because otherwise they wouldn't. And then I'm doing like a little trial of the uh, glitter. This is the gold glitter by NYX. Just did one tooth and then went on to the cheeks. So for the cheeks, I took the Inglot Gel Liner with the Sigma Liner Brush. And I just created like this hollow area under the bottom part of my cheek. And then I just created the outline first. So you can see here that I'm just continuing it down. I try to make the curve, but I just ended up making it straight. And then the worst thing on earth happened. My camera died on me and it deleted my footage. And this was my reaction right here. It was absolute devastation. But anyways, I will show you guys what I did. All I did was create that cheek area. I filled in the outline that I created and then put a white um, line on top of it with the NYX uh, Jumbo Pencil in Milk. And then just created a little bit of shading above that and then blended it out with the eyeshadows just like you would the crease. It's the same exact crease colors. And just filled in the teeth with the glitter um liner and also just did my nose which you guys know is kind of easy to achieve so then moving on to the eyes i just applied a black liner by makeup geek in the shade obsidian and then applied the shade corrupt with a flat definer brush and blended that out with a sigma pencil brush and the shade coco bear and then taking the shade girly by ColourPop, just applying this into the inner corners and then some mascara on my lower lashes um using the their real mascara and then using a Sigma fan brush in the Anastasia Glow Kit, as well as the Prosecco Pop by Becca Highlighter. Does this make sense? This is going too fast. 
and I really like that I'm still glowing even as like a skull and then that's the finished look and then I'm quickly gonna change my outfit or my hair and all that and that's it I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next one bye